uh, this set has 300 base cards. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of base cards. And those I can see definitely having some uh, very good value on there. As of the making this video, the cheapest I could find this product was for $2,200 on eBay. And that means you are paying $15.27 per card. Okay, so we spent $2,200 on this box. Uh, I still can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> If you've watched any of my videos, you know I am all about a targeted approach. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. I'm your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for joining me. Please visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Also, give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. Well, March 31st of 2021, we've got a new release of Prism Basketball. And this is the uh, first release of Prism Basketball since the, I guess you could say, the sports card craze of March of 2020. So it is a fairly uh, sought after product and the, uh, the price is definitely reflected on that. Uh, you know, this draft class isn't necessarily as hot as last year's when we've got, you know, Zion Williamson and John Morant. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown numbers-wise of this new product and give you the information that you need to, dis uh, to decide whether or not you want to buy this product, all right? It's a fairly expensive one. We definitely need to be doing our research before making that decision. And at the end, of course, I will share with you my opinion on it and also give you a strategy to follow if you decide not to buy this product, all right? Again, these are just my own thoughts here. Always do your own research before buying any product and always do what's best for your collection regardless of what somebody on YouTube or Instagram tells you, all right? So always do what's best for you, all right? So first off, before we start uh, talking about the numbers here, let's talk about the uh, hobby box breakdown on the 2020-2021 Prism Basketball Hobby Box here. you uh, This set has 300 base cards. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of base cards. 12 packs, and you get 12 cards per pack, so you get 144 cards in a hobby box. On average, you get two autographs, 22 prisms, and 10 inserts the key is on average not guaranteed sometimes you get those damn panini points that you just end up throwing away there is something really cool about this set though i was actually uh, this is one of the things that actually maybe separates this uh, from all the other different prison boxes that they've done is you're going to get uh, 15 players that come in this entire set here not guaranteed each box but there are 15 players that are going to come in the throwback 2012 design okay that's the first year of prism uh, and that's actually very cool. So you have a potential of getting some of those cards in your hobby box. And those I can see definitely having some uh, very good value on there. Very cool Panini. Nice job on doing those. And then, of course, you got some chance at getting some cards that you'll never, ever get here, including like a one of one black parallel. That's great. You're not going to get it, okay? Chant numbers just aren't in your favor on that one, all right? So what are we hoping to hit in this box, all right? So if if I was buying this, what would I be looking for? Well, I'm a big LaMelo Ball guy. I think he's going to have a fairly good NBA career. So, of course, he's the big rookie target, in my opinion. We're looking for his base card, any numbered cards, auto cards, silver prisms, etc. You got Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Emmanuel Quickly. I mean, those are some of the other kind of big rookie targets, of course. And then uh, so some numbered cards or auto cards of these superstars, you know, LeBron, Luka, Zion, Ja, etc. Okay, so we're, that's what we're looking for, right? Okay, let's talk about the numbers breakdown on this product, okay? As of the making of this video, the cheapest I could find this product was for $2,200 on eBay. Uh, looks like Blowout Cards has it for about $2,500. All right, so let's assume you're going to be paying about $2,200 for this box. Maybe a little higher, a little less, but that's probably going to be what the average is going to be, all right? $2,200 divided by 144 cards... That means you are paying $15.27 per card. Whoa. <laughs> this stuff's getting up there, man. That's absolutely crazy. But all right, so let's take out the two autos 
take out the 22 prisms there and let's take out the 10 inserts all right that means you're going to be getting on average about 110 base cards per hobby box all right so let's go back to the cards that we were hoping to hit for just a second all right uh, Lamella Ball Prism, in my estimation, is probably going to be about a $200 card, all right? Uh, initially, you know, it, it's probably going to be offered way up there, all right? But I think on average, it's probably going to be about a $200 card. That's about what Zion was selling for last year. Cheapest I could find for Zion right now was about $150 for his ungraded 2019 Prism. That's card number 248 there, all right? Uh, and, uh, you know... Zion was probably the biggest name to be drafted since LeBron James, all right? And Zion is still having a great year this year. He had a good year last year. And, I, you know, Zion is probably kind of the bar, I guess we could set right now, for what rookie cards should sell for in basketball as far as the recent Prism stuff, all right? And his PSA 10 right now sells for about $700, all right? So initially, again, people are going to be listing Lamelo Ball calls when the cards when they uh, when they pull them at probably 400 bucks or so don't be a dummy and buy it for that price all right they will come down in price as more and more people open up this product always wait at least two weeks before you start buying any ungraded cards let new stuff come on there let the price drop a little bit don't get all excited you'll have plenty of time to buy those cards there is no rush to do it all right so on average, you're going to have probably about a 36.6% .6 chance of hitting a LaMelo Ball rookie, okay? So you got 110 base cards per box. you got a 300 base card set, and that's a 36.6%, assuming every base card was printed in the same quantity, all right? Uh, even less of a chance of hitting a LaMelo Silver and about zero chance of hitting the metal auto all right you're just you're just not going to pull one the numbers just aren't in your favor here okay so we spent twenty two hundred dollars on this box uh, i still can't believe i'm saying that <laughs> all right let's let's see if we can get our money back now just keep in mind i'm going to be pretty generous with these values on these cards all right so typically they're probably going to be a little bit less than this but i'm going to be very generous for this example all right so let's say we were lucky enough and we pulled a lamello ball base card all right we're valuing that at 200 dollars. okay we spent 2200 dollars in the box take 200 dollars away now we've got two thousand dollars left that we've got to recoup out of this box let's say we get super lucky super super lucky and we pull a lamello ball silver card all right so just based off what zion sells for zion's about a 930 dollar uh ungraded silver let's just say lamello's a thousand dollars all right so that puts us down to another thousand dollars that we got to get recouped out of this box all right we got 21 more prisms to go and let's say we average ten dollars each on those all right and that's going to put us at 210 dollars okay so now we're down to 790 dollars that we got to recoup out of this box still all right let's say uh the 110 base cards that we get let's say on average those are five bucks each okay that's probably pretty high but uh, that'll add another $550 in value. So that puts us down to $240 that we still got to recoup out of this box. Autos, let's say we get two fairly decent ones. Okay, again, most of the autos are going to be junk, all right? But let's say we get two decent autos, and let's say those are worth 50 bucks each, all right? Okay, now that puts us down to another $140 that we got to recoup out of the box. We've got our inserts there. Those, we got 10 of those, and let's say those are at $10 each, right? That's $100, all right? Now we're down to $40, all right? So we just about broke even in that example but just to break even we had to hit a lamello ball base and we had to hit a lamello silver okay what are the chances of that happening in a box and we had to be on the super high end of pretty much every average card on there that seems pretty difficult right all right so given all that information that we have uh should you be buying this box and again, always do what's best for you and your collection. In the end, these are just my own thoughts here, right? But unless you're a big time gambler and you've got an extra 2K floating around, uh, this box is, is probably not for you, all right? To give you some context, 2019 Prism Hobby Box, that's Zion's year. Cheapest I could find for that was for 3,200 on eBay, okay? That's 144 cards and coming with two autos in that box. What would you rather spend your money on, all right? Zion's year for 3,200 or a relatively unknown draft class for 2,200, okay? 
that's something you're gonna have to determine for yourself, but uh, both seem like really expensive options. You know, is this a good long-term hold, meaning don't open the box, keep it sealed? I mean, possibly, it just obviously depends on how well LaMelo Ball plays and what other rookies come out of this class that end up being fairly good. Obviously, we're gonna need a little bit of time to decide who that's gonna be. I do like the fact that they do have those kind of 2012 prison throwback cards in there. I think as those come out, you're gonna start seeing those come up in value a little bit, especially like the LeBron James ones and anyone that is uh, potentially a rookie from that year. It's kind of like a secondary non-real rookie card, I guess you could say, but those are, I think, are gonna have some value to it. So it definitely makes this box uh, a little interesting, adds a unique angle to it. But if you're throwing 2K at this box and your plan is to hold it onto that box for a few years, I'm guessing money probably isn't that much of an issue for you, all right? So if you've got that extra cash thrown out, you can sell it for a couple years and it's not gonna be taking food off of your plate, all right? However, if you're scrapping together, you know, 2K plus to put together to, you know, buy this box to hold on to it, uh, that probably might not be the best plan to put all your money into one box, all right? So if you're gonna plan on holding this for a sealed product, you know, just make sure that you can afford to sit on this product for, you know, three to five years, maybe even longer, all right? So what should you do instead Instead, if you choose not to buy this box? Well, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I am all about a targeted approach. I hate wasting money and time on guys I don't believe in. So let's just take, for example, LaMelo Ball is your guy, right? You believe in him. You think he's going to be one of the best players in the next five or ten years. And you're willing to pay $200 for his prism, all right? Which I think is going to be probably where he ends up at. I think that's a fair price for him. It may be less, maybe lower, but that's just kind of what, what I'm thinking. So for $2,200, you could buy 11 of his base cards, all right? That's guaranteed. 11 <laughs> guaranteed ones. Remember, we're not guaranteed any LaMelo Ball by opening up that hobby box. We only have a 36% chance of hitting that. So for $2,200, you could buy, assuming they end up being $200, 11 guaranteed LaMelo ball cards, all right? So let's say, for example, given the typical percentages for uh, for Prism on the PSA 10 rate, let's say out of those 11 that you get five PSA 10s and you get six PSA 9s. And they end up selling for about what Zion does, all right? Let's just use that as the example, all right? So $700 times five, that's $3,500 in sales. Six uh, PSA 9s, let's say you get 225 a pop on those. That's $1,350 right there. So you got $4,850 in value right there uh, for your $2,200 for your $2,200 that you put into the cards plus the grading. All right, I think that's pretty good. I mean, that's talk about that's a lot less stressful than buying the box and hoping you get something big. You know, yeah, it's not as exciting, it's not as, as sexy as opening up the box, but it's a way more financially rewarding. And I think a heck of a lot stressful because you buying into a guy that you actually believe in. You're getting those cards graded on somebody that you believe in. Imagine when you get that PSA submission back or whoever grading company that you choose. Uh, man, you're going to be like, wow, I really did my homework on these cards. I bought quality cards. I did the best I could. And I'm getting back cards that I believe in. And you're not just grading all these random cards that you got from opening up the hobby box. All right. And uh, so, hey, listen, if he's not your guy, you know and you wanna go buy quickly or whoever else you wanna buy, just know that everybody else is into those cards for about $15.27 per card, all right? So if you can go find cards that you believe in that are at that value or less, or maybe a little above there, you know you're gonna have the same cost of goods as that person that opened that box up. And you didn't have to spend all that $2,200 opening it. So go find cards that are right around that $15 mark buy those get them graded and again same process with a little mellow you know that hey i'm buying cards that i believe in and ones that i want to get graded so when you get that submission back hey you're stoked about it and you've got guys that you actually believe in all right and again i really like this targeted approach because 99 percent of us in the hobby are on a budget oh you know, there's one percent of us out there that are buying 10K, 20K a month in cars, okay? There's just not that many people out there. I know Instagram lies to you and would make you believe differently, but 99% of us, trust me on this one, are on a strict budget, okay? We are the hobby, all right? So again, I like that target approach. You can follow a strict budget and buy the cards that you want. Also, on a side note here too, I know a lot of you were really looking forward to buying this this you know, product here. Many of you came into the hobby in 2020 and, you know, you started buying Prism hobby boxes 
or prism cards for Zion's year. And you're looking forward to this year because, you know, LaMelo Ball is kind of a big player maybe on your list here. And you're probably a little sticker shocked on this price of this box. I mean, this is what happens when you have a monopoly, right? Panini's got a monopoly on basketball cards. It's just the way it is right now. And the only way to defeat a monopoly is, is to not buy their products, okay? Now, that's easier said than done. You want to collect their stuff. Their stuff sells. And they've got a lot of players on this box that you, uh, you know, would like to collect and have in your collection, right? But if you're truly upset about these prices, which I'm, agreeing with, I'm in agreement with you, I think they're, <laughs> they're a little steep, then, you know, the only way to, 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 you know, not do this and to not support Panini is just don't buy their cards, all right? That's the way to do it. Okay, that's the only choice you have. It's a free market, you know, and if you really believe in that message, then, you know, stand behind your words and don't buy the product, you know? Uh, and last thing too, remember Panini, they don't care about your pocketbook, all right? They are an excellent marketing company, all right? They really know how to entice you with your product. They make a very quality product for the most part. Prism is one of the most sought after brands, I guess you could say, in all of the trading card industry. So they know what they're doing when it comes to uh, marketing. And the final sales price of some of those cards as PSA 10s definitely reflects that. I mean, people definitely believe in their brand. And again, that's why, you know, their job too, remember, is always to sell you cards, okay? Never forget that. Panini's job is to sell you cards, all right? So that's why I always recommend, slow down, take your time. You don't need to rush into buying any of this product. There's this perception out there that you're gonna miss out on some guys if you don't buy in right now. That's false. You're not gonna miss out on anything, all right? Take your time crunch your numbers okay and always come to your own conclusion all right take all the information that you can get from all these sources combine it all into your own thoughts and then do what is best for you and your collection <sighs> take a deep breath man there's no rush to any of this all right so hope you guys like this video again comment below let me know if you're gonna be buying this uh box here or not or what your thoughts are on the price and the future of uh, panini boxes are they going to be affordable for just nobody and again visit the website powersportsmobility.com and also give me a follow over there on instagram at powers autographs and i will see you on the next episode